Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Zakai here, and I'm bringing you a commentary over this game called Dragon Nest. Now, you're probably wondering why am I bringing you another video, a character screen of Dragon Nest? Well, a lot has changed since my last character screen video. So, as as we're gonna get into it, I'm about to show you what has changed. You see, right there in the middle, we have a new player. What is he? My friend. That guy right there is what you call. An arc heteric. This guy is one of the classes I actually want to play with. As you can see, I got my I play with a Crusader, a Runia, and a Raven. Those are my top three classes at the moment. Because uh yeah, your boy, I have a bunch of classes that I want to play with. But these these are my top three. But right now I'm gonna get up into this character agent screen, select like chronicles, chronicle char characters can be created only once. After you leave the chronicle character, you cannot create again. Okay, so back in the day, well, it was like some months ago they had well an event going on where you can get on and um, you can create you a chronicle character. Create chronicle character. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. So I can create a chronicle character. Ooh. All right, so pretty much what this uh pretty much what this is is I'm going to be playing as an arc heteric this game since I'm coming back. As of right now, we're going to be going into depth on what an arc heteric is. Arc heteric pretty much is a cleric, a cleric that just pretty much got buffed out to a point where he is god. Now, from a cleric, he branches off into a heteric, and uh, from heteric, he branches off into an arc heteric. So. That's pretty much it for uh, Arc Heteric, but they're freaking amazing to be honest with you. I, I actually like this class. I'm going to be bringing you more gameplay footage of Arc Heteric class, so be sure to watch that one as well. So right now we have a Silver Hunter. Silver Hunter is pretty much a archer that branches off into a hunter, and from a hunter they branches off into a Silver Hunter. That's pretty much how the diversity of a <laughs> Silver Hunter is made. Alright, Dark Avenger. Dark Avenger branch is a warrior. Now you can see right here, he's a warrior. He's a warrior that branches off into an Avenger and turns into a Dark Avenger. Honestly, all they did was just add Dark Avenger and just made it a new class for it. That's all they did. Now, Warrior, they have two classes they branch off into. And from that, uh, the class they branch off to, they have two other classes they can branch off to. So technically, he has a total of four different types of classes of Endgame material that's pretty much all of them have except for the dark classes they only have one in-game class so hey let's go warrior they have um lords branch off to a swordsman and they can branch off into a gladiator or a lunar knight honestly a lot of people love to play lunar knights lunar knights apparently are op when it comes to pvp and all that stuff like that warriors Mercenaries branches off into a barbarian or a destroyer. You can pick and choose what you want to do. You can choose if you feel like using axes and stuff. Barbarians is your type of guy. If you want to use freaking hammers, you just want to just go and, and hammer things down. Destroyers is your type of person. I can't really say much on barbarians and destroyers, but a lot of people like playing barbarians more. But that's just me. I don't know. I've never played with warriors, so I can't really give you my input on that. Archers. Archers branches off into two different classes, sharpshooters and acrobats. Sharpshooter branches off into two other different classes, which is called sniper or a warden. Now you're probably wondering, what's the difference between the two? One's a sniper and the other one's like a magician. There's a big difference. All right, acrobats uh, branches off into a tempest or a windwalker. Now, honestly, I'm probably have to say windwalkers are pretty much in the air a lot. So if you probably one, just just be cognizant that this person jumps around a lot. So it's gonna be kind of hard to hit. Now we have sorceress. Now, ooh man, did he update all the characters? Like maybe make them look at least look look like better and stuff like that. I don't know, but sorceress is you know, kind of fine today. Hmm. Sorceress have two different classes. She has a elementalist and a mystic. 
Now you're probably wondering what's the difference between the two. Elemental is pretty much it uses all pretty much all the elements and stuff like that. And Mystic is pretty much branches off into a dark magician type class. So if you want to be a dark person, you can go Mystic, go into War, War Mage, and Chaos Mage. Go for it. That's all you. Now, honestly, if I had to be choose between the two, I would probably have to go with a mystic all the way going all the way to chaos mage that's just me because they just look more appealing that way and i like dark magic so <laughs> so um, elementalist if i had to choose between the two you can also uh choose between being a pyromancer or a an ice witch so if whatever whatever floats your boat if you want to be if you want to use fire if you want to use ice go for it like you know that's that's all you at the end of the day you're still gonna get smacked if you know if you're coming up against a person that's just you know cold as hell. All right, so from sorcerers, we're going to cleric, the main guy of this whole thing that I'm going to be talking about. The reason why this whole update is around this guy, the archetric, is your cleric. So clerics branches off into a paladin, a priest, and from a paladin, they also branch off into a guardian or a crusader. Priest branches off into a saint. Or inquisitor. Honestly, I, clerics are pretty much one of the most broken classes in the game, besides tanker. Now you're probably wondering, like, yo, why is this little this little lolly right here so so like broken? Well, it's not just her. It's this gearmaster. Gearmaster and shooting stars are pretty much the one of the most broken classes op damage dealing classes in this game if i'm wrong hey correct me but i'm just saying in general this class is pretty much god tier now tinkerer branches off into an engineer or an alchemist so from uh, uh, engineer they branch off into a shooting star and a gear master why do i now you're probably wondering why do i say this class is pretty broken i'm gonna tell you a quick little fun fact about this chick so pretty much she has the ability to summon a creature that pretty much does her bidding now you're fighting this creature and this creature has a shit ton of hp now you're trying to kill her in the process now you got to worry about this motherfucker too now you're also probably wondering well once you destroy the creature yeah you destroy the creature and once you destroy it she can summon another one that's why I say she's broken. And then don't forget, let's not get started on the bubbles that she can do. Things that she can do with her weapons. It's, it's ridiculous. She has a whole arsenal of things that can pretty much destroy you before you get close. Now, there's probably uh, other ways of getting around all that stuff, but I'll say that for the pros. All right, so Tinkerers branched off into an alchemist. And from alchemist, they branched off into an adapt or a physician. Honestly, I never played a physician or an adapt, so I can't really give you any of the concepts of what these characters do. Uh, what, what do the characters do? That's pretty much how it goes for me. All right. Kali. Oh, my God. The sexiest chick of all times, bro. Like, come on now. Whew. Damn. <sighs> Bring stuff together. All right. So, Kali branches off into a screamer. From a screamer, she can branch off into a dark summoner or a soul eater. It all depends on you. What do you, whatever you want to go about. Now, Kali branches off into a dancer as well, and from a dancer, you can go into a blade dancer or a spirit dancer. Now, I've never played Kali as well, so if you really want more input on that, there are pre, there are some pretty pro player players out there that can give you more in depth concepts on each uh, on each character. So I can't really say much. You can always just look at the little video that we have up here that shows like video uh, video footage over them, or you can go on uh, YouTube. What you're doing, like you're doing right now, type in search. So I'm going to search box and just type in Kali and enter classes that they have. Now, for assassin, the main class that I played the most. Why do you play this class? Because it's a fucking assassin. What the fuck do you need? This class is God. This guy is like a monster that's been awakened to fucking conquer the, the world. What are you talking about? This guy is like this OP as hell. Now let's stop freaking boosting this guy up and just get on to this. So Assassin branches off into a Shinobi. From a Shinobi, he can branch off into a Reaper. From a Reaper, he can branch off. Psych, he has another class, which is called a Raven. Now, you're probably wondering what's the difference between a Reaper and a Raven. Don't worry about it. The Raven is God tier. Reaper is just there. 
Now, there's probably some other reason why Reapers are pretty cold, but right now, only thing cold in my mind is a Raven. Because why? That's who I am. So, Assassins can be a Talus. From a Talus, they can go into a Lightbringer and Abyss Walker. Or Abyss Walker. So, it all depends on you. I don't really know the difference between the two. Uh, it seems like uh, a Lightbringer is pretty much a support slash uh, DPS type character. That's from the looks of it. And uh, Abyss Walker is pretty much an AoE type character which pretty much go falls into PVE. So you can also take that into account whenever, whenever you plan. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you this, my boy Raven is just cold as hell. Now, you're probably wondering what are the next classes. Hope there's a two button, yeah. We have Lancia. Lancia is probably one of the, uh, no, she's not recently, no, she's been out for a minute, but she's a, she's a spear woman. Gotcha, you thought it was a spearman, but nah, she's a spear woman and she only has one one uh what's the word i'm looking for one job change now why is that that's pretty much how i made the game so far same with mecha mecha machina so lentia branches off into a lancer from a lancer she branches off into a dragoon or a valkyria now i lied to you she has two a dragoon or valkyria it all depends on you what do you want to go with? Dragoon? I heard dragons are pretty awesome. Valkyria? I heard awesome things about Valkyria. If you're, if you're a swordswoman or a swordsman and you can get over the fact that she's a woman, go for it. But if you're, uh, if you're a swordsman and you can't get over the fact that she's a woman, pick somebody else. She's God tier. Alright, so we have another lolly up in here. She may not be uh, as uh, lollyish as my girl Tinkerer. And all that stuff you know she's like lisa but foot taller than her <laughs> but in my case she is still fucking the baddest shit coming as well the second baddest because you know call it yeah. oh it's number one just thought out there all right so mechiana pretty much is um a fist using type woman now you're probably wondering like what do i mean by that well she uses her fist that's all you need to know she's a brawler <laughs> come on now all right so mechiana uh, branched off into a Patrona. Pat. Patron. Patrona. Patrona. I, I hope I said it right. Uh, and then she def uh, branched off into a Defension. Defension. And, or a Runia. Now, me, I pick Runia because uh, I like to do damage. So. And she specializes in offensive damage while she def uh, specializes in defensive physical attack. So, hey, it's all about you. I like I like just doing damage. If I gotta go in, just like punch, 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 kill, instead of king, 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 kill, and all that stuff. Yeah, you probably wonder what's the difference between the two, just the two difference of those sounds. Well, for starters, king, 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 king. It's like hitting armor. Punch, 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 punch. Is like what am I even talking about right now? We're just talking about a characterization screen. So that pretty much wraps it up on the characterization screen. You're probably wondering some other things on like. What are what is this game pretty much like? If you want to see more of this gameplay or footage or inside the game itself, you can always just like, comment, subscribe. Check out my next video; it's gonna be coming up pretty soon. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. You will be seeing a god next time, so be ready because Arc Hederic does not play or waste his time for anyone. That is all.